kickoff here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. They'll take it at the 20. The D-lines, they're seeing something on the offensive side. Everybody's shifting to their left. First down at the 20. Bell's going to take the handoff now. He emerged as quite a find after being drafted in the fourth round out of Clemson. Right away in his rookie year, making plays and finding the end zone often was Martavis Bryant. Another Clemson wide receiver. People forgot about him because Sammy Watkins was one of his teammates, but he has the size and the speed, and he makes a great target for any quarterback. Second down and six. Stiff arms to stay on his feet, and gains maybe four. It's always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. It'll be third down. The Giants lined up in the nickel. Bell's called on once again. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is... This is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. When you see linebackers moving like this, they're trying to confuse the offensive line. Trying to beat the play clock. Ayers has the sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. Loss of five on the play. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. They better hurry to get the snap. Sends it to Bell. Gains 14. You know, when you're catching the football, there's nothing like catching the pass, whether it's short or long, and breaking a tackle and getting a couple extra yards. That makes the quarterback have some confidence in you, and he'll start looking for you more. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Bell will get it on the toss. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Bell's going to be mad at himself after that run. He picked the wrong hole. If he'd have went the other way, he would have had enough space to pick up the first down. He has stopped. Now it brings up fourth down. This will end up in the end zone for a touchback. the 27. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Deeper, deeper. 
the Giants from the 27. And Jennings is brought down. Jennings never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Third down. Jennings in the backfield. Single back set. Back to him. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Jennings looking for a place to run, but there is nowhere to go. The offensive line just gets dominated. Good job by the defensive line that time. All set to punt here. Jones going to take this one from the 18. And a run back of about seven. The Steelers didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but... Yeah, that was pretty easy. First down at the 36. and brings him down. The Steelers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. And intercepted. Tackles made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Giants' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive a quick three and out yeah it was i don't know if they can erase this defense this defense is pretty good we saw that in the last drive they got good players and yeah, they take him down you know outside linebackers they're everything all in one they got to be pass rusher uh, pass cover guy and they got to be able to stop the run nice job that time getting the sack Second down now. Look at the defensive line shifting all down to the inside. They're pinching. They're expecting a run right up the middle. That was Boykin on the coverage that time. One player to watch on that offense today. The electrifying wideout, Odell Beckham Jr. It's amazing the fame and everything that came his way, and rightly so. Just from the games he played last year, he was a force. And one of the best talents I've seen come to the NFL in a long time. Set up the screen to Kareem. The defense did a very good job there on third and long. They got the incomplete pass. But it's the work they did on first and second down. They made it tough on the offense. So third long, everything goes to the advantage of the defense. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Steelers' last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, partner? Are they going to play a little safer this time around in an effort to avoid another giveaway? Well, Jim, I think, you know, listen, this is not a perfect game. It's a game of adversity. You're, you're going to have a turnover, so keep your confidence up. Still stay aggressive. That's how you play and win in the NFL. First down at the 20. Bell's handed the football. 
He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. As we take a look at this defense, he is one player who can totally change the course of a game, and I'm talking about Jason Pierre-Paul. Yeah, Jim, he's one of those defensive players on the offensive side. You always have to know where he is lined up because if he gets one-on-one -on -one situations, he can get the job done and get to the quarterback. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Phil, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter. It sure was, and it was a tug of war, and it was boring. That's what it looked like. I, I, I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, but really the offense is just poor play selection, poor execution, and you kind of get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. Game 13. Fifth this time, it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They need to get the playoff. Roethlisberger is going to take the snap from the shotgun. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The defensive line, they're all talking. They're all shifting to the right. Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end, Heath Miller. The Giants defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Steelers snap it at the 41. Scans the field. Finds Brown. They bring him to the turf. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. Rockfussburger is now completed four in a row. From the red zone. Press coverage all the way. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Picks up eight here. The Steelers, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. Second down coming up. Defense crowd the line of scrimmage. Look out, this could be a blitz. Roethlisberger runs it across for the score. Touchdown. And we're halfway through the second quarter. And with the touchdown trip, they are now in front of this ball game. Man, this game's flying along. We've seen some good play. In it. But that drive right there was not a good job by the defensive front. They were all over the place and allowed the offense to execute some plays and take the lead. And the kicker's ready to go. Harris is going to start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Giants got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense. But I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense. Because they need to sit on the sidelines and give a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. The Giants snap it up at the 26. He's hit as he throws it. Man 
Jennings back in shotgun formation. Knocked down as he fires it. Well, there's no doubt what to do in a situation like this. You do not take a chance and, and put your team in a position where they have to make a big comeback in the second half. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving them hand signals. Middle of the second quarter, and this offense continues to struggle, Phil. Sooner or later, they've got to find some rhythm out there. And, you know, uh, maybe it's a, a trick play that can get them started. Sometimes a reverse, a flea flicker, plays like that can get, get your offense feeling good and playing better. Jacoby Jones from the 31. Ducks out of bounds. And a run back of about three. The Steelers' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. The Steelers have it at the 34. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. The Giants defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. The wide receiver in motion. The play clock's running down. Robert Ayers takes him to the ground. Man, this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. On the way, third down. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Play clock's running down. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Antonio Brown has the catch. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Good coverage here as they'll cover this one up as their defense heads onto the field. The Giants offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. That'll be second and four after the running play. And Jennings lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The defense gets a sack. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Third down. Have to be very careful here. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Take the snap from the shotgun. Eli Manning out to Victor Cruz. The 
the Giants will go for it here on fourth down and short. Manning's lined up, two tight end set. Jennings going to secure the handoff. The Giants turn the ball over on down. What will be the middle makeup of this team after the half fill as that fourth down attempt goes against them? Well, I think they're all going to go in halftime. And you know what, Jim? They're going to be mad about one thing. They're going to be mad at the coach because he's the one that decided to go for it on fourth down. It could come back and be one of the big plays of the game. The D-line saw something on the offense. Everybody's shifting to their left. Bell's taking the handoff. Bell's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They follow him up for a short game. Here they come to the line of scrimmage at the 12. The Giants' defense now is going to go nickel. The defensive line now spreading out. I think they want to try to pressure the quarterback. They'll run it here. Thomas there to make the tackle. The Giants are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. They will snap it now at the seven-yard line. Takes it again. John Beeson brings him down. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? They come to the line, and it's first down. Playing press coverage to the outside. Gets it again. Collins is able to read that play and make the hit. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration. And they tackle the runner for a loss. Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. The defense showing a blitz. Second and goal from the four. Brown had it but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Breaking huddle at the four. Jim, look at that. The defensive line now shifting to the right. They'll go ground. And they are in on Bell. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. And converts on the three. That'll do it for the first half here in the Steel City. Back to Pittsburgh after a break for halftime and the start of the third quarter. We are back for the start of the third. Jim Nance, Bill Sims here at Heinz Field. The second half is officially underway. Harris elects to run it out. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Giants talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Pass is intercepted. Just when you thought there might be some adjustments at halftime, this defense still has all the answers with an interception here early in the third quarter. Well, when you see defenses play like this, all I can say is I'm glad I'm not a quarterback down there on the field because you have no chance of having success against this defense. 
First down at the 19. Bell's going to take the handoff now. That's a pickup at 14. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Coming up to the line at the five. Look at the defensive linemen talking. They're all now shifting to the left. Touchdown. Steelers put six on the board. Bell's second touchdown of the game. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. The point after is good. The Steelers ready to boot the football down the field. And here's Harris. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Giants just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. This will be second down. Manning's got it in the gun. Launching it deep. Beckham is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Mark him down for another reception. Now inside the 30 at the 29. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Looking at every option. Intercepted! Allen's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. The Steelers have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. And they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half. Just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. First down at the 20. Takes it out of the eye. And they are in on Bell. Bell is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Bell's got it on the handoff. It's John Beeson who makes the tackle. Third down now. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Roethlisberger from the gun stands in the pocket. The catch is made by Marcus Wheaton. And the Steelers are ready to punt this one away. Harris got it at the 21. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. That returns good for about seven. The Giants were moving the football the last time they had it, only to give the football away on the pick. Let's see how they do it this time. 
yeah, you know, that's a tough situation for the offense. You get a little confidence and you're moving the football, and then the turnover just changes everything. So you got to find a way to get your confidence going again. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. for dropping that football because receivers you never know when your chance is going to come and then finally you get open they call a play where you're the, the primary guy it's right there and you drop it well don't get down on yourself stay up the football will come your way again the Giants from the 27 and he's going to be sacked so just three plays and out for the offense The Giants will punt the football. Jones got it at the 29. That's a gain of 10. That return's good for about 10. The Steelers have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Looks like they're in press coverage here. The Steelers take it from the 38. Bell's hand at the football. Second and four following the run. Going to secure the handoff. And that's a two yard gain. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. Now, looking at third down. Quick drop back. down and they force the quick three and out they're in punting formation Harris has got a chance this time Bob is out picking up the bubble and now he's on the move this game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. At the line of scrimmage, the 41. The Steelers snap it at the 41. Bell is brought down after picking up just a yard. Safeties are becoming a bigger part of the NFL every year. That time the safety comes up and gets in there and makes the tackle for no gain. The line of scrimmage is at the 40. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Second and ten. Charging ahead. And they get the sack. 
Nice job that time, but the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. The line of scrimmage, the 48. Roth was Burgers all by himself in the backfield for this snap. The defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run over there. Surveys. Incomplete. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. This will be a fair catch by Harris. The Giants offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. First down at the 17. Still on his feet. They are all over him. Behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Second down here. Quarter underway now with this snap. That's Manning and Cruz combining. That's another reception given to. First down on the way. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Manning's going to take it from the gun. Intercepted. Tackles made. This offense had no choice but to take some chances here in the fourth quarter, but it comes back to bite them again with an interception. Well, but it's not going well, and you start trying to take chances, there is nothing going to go right in that situation. If they get back on the field after this one, Jim, just go out there, run the football, and try to get this game over with. First down at the 37. Ayers, that time on the tackle. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. So only gets a couple yards this time. That leads us to second down. Oh, look at that. The defensive line shifted over to the left. Bell's taking the handoff. And they get to him at the 45. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Now third and short following the run. Feeds him again. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. Touchback. The Giants bring their offense back onto the field here, trying to avoid a repeat of the mistake on their last drive, which was, of course, an interception. Yeah, you're looking for a way to get that momentum back. And how do you do that with a good play call on first down? Catch the defense off guard, get some momentum on the offense, give your players confidence so they can let it go. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Takes the hit. 
throws. The Giants continue to try to look for answers in the passing game. Manning has been trying to battle through some tough spots, but he's been up and down today. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You said the appropriate word, battle. The quarterback, keep battling, stay with it, and hope you can turn things around. Second down after the incompletion. The Steelers will come out in the dime. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. That's his third catch of the day. Wasting no time now for this next play. Now first and ten. And there's Cruz. Sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long, run a fly route, run a nine route, because that means straight ahead or a streak. Show the speed that you have and get it done. Manning's completion percentage, 40% on the day. First down at the 32. Eli Manning able to find Hakeem Nix. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. First down, offense readying for the snap. Manning from the shotgun. Can't hold on here as this ball's incomplete. So many times when you drop the football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Second down and ten. Intercepted! Breaks out of the tackle. That may have been the last chance to put points on the board. More superb work by the defense. Absolutely outstanding. What a day for the defense. The coordinator called a great game, but the players, we knew they were good. But today is one of the best performances I've seen them have in a long time. First down at the 15. A gain of eight. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and two. Takes it from the eye. Thomas all over the ball carrier. Pretty predictable call that time by the offense. It's second and short. The defense is thinking one thing. They are thinking run, and they stop it. Third down on the way. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the left. I think they're expecting a run. Gives it to him again. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. First down here after the run. Press coverage all the way. To the ground. Picks up about two. Williams is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. They feed it to him one more time. Running room. Going to take it the distance. The 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that when it had it all in its speed. Good moves, good blocks. 
exciting touchdown. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Harris is running this one out. Ball is out. That brings the play to an end. The Steelers lined up in the nickel. First down at the 16. Interception. That will be one solid locker room, Bill Sims, in the aftermath of this game. And the last thing they may remember is this interception to boot. Yeah, Jim, when this game is over, they're going to go in there. You want to shower, get dressed, and get out. You don't even want to talk about the game. You say as little as possible, and you wait to go back to practice next week. Loss of five on the play. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 44. And straight ahead, Bell. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. Defense calls a timeout. Second down following the run. Playing press coverage to the outside. Bell's going to take the handoff now. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. Here's the football resting at the 43. Walk, 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 walk. Third and nine. They want to keep feeding him the football. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Steelers trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work, and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. They're set to punt it away now. turn as this goes for a touchback the Giants last possession ended somewhat painfully with an interception you wonder if they're going to try to compensate for that mistake on this drive Phil well sometimes when you have a mistake on the offensive side it does make you get more conservative but let's look at it from the defensive side it was just a tremendous play so sometimes in the NFL that's going to happen where the defensive player is just better than the offensive player I know you had a lot of experience at this, but after you threw an interception, what was it like coming back out of the field the next time? Well, I tell you, I tell all my teammates, be alert. You might have to tackle again because I'm going to keep firing it down the field. They'll go no huddle here as they're out of timeouts. He'll throw it over the middle. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. This drives coaches crazy. They get a receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows him. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Jennings with the catch. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. Manning's completion percentage, 40% on the day. Look at that. The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the right. And Nick's got it. First down from inside the red zone. They won't huddle now. They'll go to the hurry up. First and ten. Looking across the middle. Has it. 
Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on. The and we're going to have a stoppage here because the booth wants to have a look at this potential touchdown. As always, every touchdown is reviewed and verified, and it is now the word sent down. It is, in fact, verified for six. Get it across and secure two extra points. The Giants will line up here for the onside kick. They have been fighting an uphill battle, and they had to recover that onside kick. Well, it was a tough spot for them, Jim. We know that. When you're going for the onside kick, and you're trying to recover it, I think your chances are about one out of ten. And that time, it was not on their side. Look out, the defense is showing a blitz here. Takes the knee. Coming to the line right at the 50. Here we go. Takes the knee. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.